As Quad City Storm officials are still searching for a new coach, the front office staff joined the other nine SPHL teams in announcing the players they are hoping to bring back for the 2024-25 season on Thursday. By the looks of things, the new coach will inherit a good core of players who are coming off solid 2023-24 campaigns. The 13 players QC has on its protected list are, forwards Cole Golka, Patrick Marsinkevics, Leif Matson, Michael Moran, Logan Nelson, Wyland Parrish, and Matt Ostarski, defenseman Doug Blaisdell, Michael Greco, Jake Maynard and Trevor Momo, and goaltenders Bailey Brin and Brent Moran. Looking at the list we have, there is a lot to be excited about, said Storm President Brian Rottenberger. There's a lot of points returning and some players not on the list that we expect to be back and that's good, too. People are also reading. Family resources in Davenport to lay off 2016's killed in Molin Sunday were friends, both fondly remembered two dead after shooting in Molin Sunday, police ask public for photo, video evidence woman gives CPR after shooting in East Molin, police chief confirms one dead officials identify two people shot and killed Sunday in Molin a violent Sunday leaves one dead in East Molin. Two killed in Moline, Alabama man arrested in relation to killing in East Moline. Victim identified Muscatine Furry discusses lifestyle, social media posts Davenport man faces three felony charges for allegedly defrauding multiple area banks Davenport collapse lawsuits, City files appeal to Iowa's Supreme Court Two killed in separate crashes Wednesday in East Moline Davenport man was under surveillance. Subject of investigation before he was killed Davenport businesses Sioux City, Hesco over 2019 flood losses Unidentified company considering Davenport for $800 million Data Center Davenport Learning Center to relaunch programming for alternative education, IAP students. We're fortunate that we've got a bunch of guys that love playing in the Quad Cities. Off-seasons are always scary, you have guys that are planning to retire that don't retire and guys that aren't planning to retire that do retire. Rottenberger also noted that there are other players from the 2023-24 team not on the protected list that he is certain will be on the ice opening night. There are, indeed, both players that have expressed that they have no desire to play anywhere else and some players who go through their off-season process and decided not to retire. Who ends up on the opening night roster in October, of course, will depend upon the new coach. Rottenberger is excited about the search for Dave Sinchny's replacement, as well, and said he and owner John Dawson hope to have a new coach in place in a month or less. We had over 50 candidates reach out, he said. Of those 50, we had 10 to 15 very good candidates and are in the process of narrowing that group down right now.